are you? Oh my goodness. It's been a few weeks. Um, I'm back with a quick update. Not a super whole lot to show. Um, but I want to get a video out because Monday is Halloween and my son turned 21 yesterday. So he's coming home for the weekend. Um, sounds like he's coming from far away, doesn't it? He lives like 45 minutes away, but, um, he's got the whole entire weekend off. So he's coming home for the weekend and we're going to go celebrate his birthday uh, tonight. We're going to celebrate his and his co-workers Dirty 30 tomorrow. <sighs> I don't know what we're doing on Sunday yet. My mom's not feeling well. We're supposed to do like family birthday here at the house. Not sure how that's going to work. But anyways, either way. And then he also has Monday off. So I don't know if he's going to spend the night. And we're going to do something on Monday while Mike's at work. I'm not sure yet. I don't, I don't know. I'm here for the ride. That's all I know. So. <sighs> Deep breath. <sighs> okay. I just got home. So new hair. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that. I love it. My hairstylist always comes up with something different. I kind of show her kind of what I'm going for cut wise. Um, and she kind of just runs with it and I tell her I want pink and purple and she just works her magic. So I'm loving it. It's cute. It's sassy. Spot on for what I'm wanting. Um, I don't have a list. I have my calendar and last time was a hot mess because I had my calendar. So, but I want to get a quick update out, show you kind of what I've worked on. Um, tell you a little bit about what's been going on and show you what I picked up today and then yeah I had a couple questions so I'm gonna answer those and I'm gonna do some shout outs that's pretty much it I think okay let's get on with it I never do a proper intro I swear it's horrible pulling my sleeves up I'm really warm um it was like 28 degrees this morning here in Michigan. Now it's like almost 50. So I dressed for the weather this morning and now I'm like roasting. Okay. Um, anyhow, my name's Case, AKA Jeep Girl Stitches here on FlossTube and on Instagram. Um, I've also got my Facebook kind of wrapped around that too. So that in the, um, stitching groups that I'm in it kind of makes sense like for me I like to know who I'm talking to and if it's one of our our content creators um that I'm chatting with online I kind of like to know that kind of so I can just kind of like link everybody together anyhow you don't care you don't care um anyhow I don't know if I'll remember to do a proper intro every time or not but it is what it is I don't edit it's me all raw and real. Okay, let's get on with it. <laughs> I don't know when he's going to be here. I'm like against the clock. Okay, out trick-or-treating. Now, this is backwards to me, so please. Um, I thought my stuff was backwards to, to you, but I wasn't sure. Um, one of my commenters let me know that it was backwards for you guys. So, if it is, let me know. And even then, I still do a proper intro. I told you. Jeez, oh, Pete. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for coming back. Thank you for coming to my channel. Uh, welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you. I had, like, a huge influx of subscribers. And I appreciate that. I thank you for everyone that comes back time after time. I thank you for giving me a chance. I thank you for watching my channel. And I hope that you find something that you like. God, I'm horrible at this. Okay. Welcome, everybody. Everyone is welcome here. I love you all. This is fantastic. <laughs> Out trick-or-treating. I had started this on 18 count. Two over one full cross. Well... I have fallen in love with one over one full cross and 25 count, and I had an extra piece. So guess what? This one got a restart. Hang on. Buddy, honey, please don't scratch at the floor. Dogs claw at carpet? 
this is like a new behavior for him. Like some of my carpet is like, like up and out, like long strands hanging. So for some reason he's clawing at the carpet. So, uh, Jasmine Beckett Griffith out trick or treating. I had quite a bit done actually, um, before, but I'm loving the Royal Rose. Um, and I didn't understand it. I didn't, I, I didn't understand that. I didn't understand parking. Jen, the caffeinated crafter, did a video, which helped me understand parking. She did a complete new um, fresh start project from the beginning so that I could see versus a project that's already started. So she did it from the beginning and explained it. Made total sense then. Totally clicked in my head. Then I went and watched Royal Stitcher and she did a new project fresh from the start doing the royal rose with it so then that clicked too so now i'm just like psh, all about that because i want to see my picture come together the cross countries all i've ever done until now um and that always worked for me but on these full coverages it's not i'm counting incorrectly all the time so for this to finally make sense was like thank you finally something clicked so, um, out trick or treating. I'm not, I'm not going to, I'm still, I'm still working. I'm not going to take it out of the case now. Um, so this is folded up in here because it's got some threads. I've literally just kind of worked on this top row going across. Not a super whole lot to see at this point, which is going to be the theme of this video. And so I kind of take the Royal Rose and if there's just a few stitches down here um, that are not down here or over here, I do them and I finish my thread off to here. I don't want to dangle a thread for like three stitches. So I kind of adapting it to what works for me. Um, and I love it. So I, don't, I didn't even count my stitches up for you guys. It's not end of the month yet. It's just going to be a throw together video. Laugh at my expense. It's fine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Sorry. I'm going to put it back in its bag. My dogs are laying around me. I need protection, I guess. Um, so therefore they are uh, not going to get on my stuff. Because if I lay it down just down they'll lay all over it or the cat will come running okay I left my tablet in its holder because it's easier on my hands so the next project is mini vampire dragonling by Jasmine Beckett Griffith this does not I couldn't find it in a full size or anything just a mini so hoping the glare if I turn it this way you can see it there you go so she's just cute. I just, I like her. She's cute. She's creepy. It goes with my whole Halloween theme. So I got her started. So on her, again, not much because I am literally either converting to row of rows and parking or I'm just starting some of these for Halloween. So this Sorry, I stuck my needle in there. This is what I've got. So, not much to see. That's not working for me to talk to you like that either, is it? Jeez, please. Okay, so my colors are getting a little bit lighter as we move over. Um, if I look at my picture where it's getting lighter is going to start to look like a big light um, behind her and then I'm going to get some of her hair so we've got some cool colors coming in so I'm excited about that so again finishing up a few stitches down here and tying off and ending my thread everything else is dangly and if it's not down here I do I have been coming over here and parking it because I don't want to, I don't want to pull another thread. 
I don't want to end it and restart it. I just want to keep going. So that's what I'm doing. Because as everybody tells me, there's no rules in cross stitch, right? I can do what I want. To a certain degree. Okay. And I'm, I'm trying to keep my stuff, my videos shorter because as I've explained before, I'm looking at my tablet to bring up the next chart. Sorry. As I've explained before, um, our internet's wonky. It takes forever and I'm trying to keep my videos shorter. A, so I don't bore the crap out of you and B, so that they'll upload faster. So I don't know if this will upload over the weekend or if it's going to upload on Monday. With the circus out here, I don't know. Okay, the next one that I worked on, oop, glare on the glasses, sorry, was Trick or Treat, um, and it is by Randall Spangler. This was a rack from Steph at Total Stitch Show. And let me see, oh, I can't hold it that way. There we go. Um, I'm hoping it's not too glary. Anyways, um... Steph from Total Stitch Show started this because Maxine at Nightmare Before Stitchmas was working on it. And Maxine's gotten really far. I watched her recent video where she did a collaboration with a couple of other stitchers. And she's really far on it. So Steph's getting there. She's farther ahead than I am. But I just love this, the fall colors. I just, I love it. Again, I don't know how many stitches I did, but it's still in the cue snap. Because I plan to get some more work done on it. Um, <laughs> okay, sorry. Up close and personal in your business. Okay. You guys, look at my leaves. Ah, they're coming in so good. Look at the sky. The detail and the branches. This is so much better than cross country. So I had started this cross country and filling in. So, as I'm working to convert it, it's kind of a pain in the butt and kind of a mess. And I'm sorry about all that. But it matches me and my life, so why not? So I have all, all these tangly threads. These are all over here, ready to go for ones that uh, didn't come down. So, check that out, you guys. So flipping cool! I am I'm loving it. Oh my God. I'm loving it. I can't wait to get some more work done on this one. Yeah, so this one I think I will continue into November because of fall and I don't have like, I don't really have any fall pieces. Um, I have some Christmas ones I'll be starting. I don't know if I'll start those in November. We'll just see kind of where I go, but this one for sure with the fall leaves and stuff I wanna keep working on. I don't care that it's like, a haunted house. I, I don't care. It's fall. I'm doing fall. So I'm super excited about all that. And just watching it come together is so much better than cross country. So yeah, I'm super excited. So there's that one. Okay. Got to stay on track. Got to do it. Okay. Um, that's what I've worked on so far. Um, I did work a little bit more on the Hangit's tree, um, over 24 hours of cross stitch weekend while I was, uh, watching and chatting with Suki and Alara and all of them that were on Suki's live. Um, but I didn't take it off the stand and it's not a super whole lot to look at. So I just didn't get that one out yet. Um, I didn't want to take it off the stand. Okay. What's next? Um, <sighs> I didn't count my stitches. Okay. Next. We're at 14 and a half minutes. Okay. Next I want to do, um, I was the winner of three giveaways. So I want to show what I got for those. So the first one is from Sage Butterfly Designs. Super cool channel. Um, forgetting her first name. I'll link her down below. Sage Butterfly Designs. Um, so in hers, I won 
these um, these towels. If any of you have seen these. So they're super cool. Um, not quite sure what I'm going to put on them yet, but I have lots of cool stuff that I can. So I was super excited to get those. These are a 14 count. There's a design included, but does it say what the design is? It gives me the thing. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's grapes. It's a chart of grapes, um, which I may do for like my wine rack and stuff. Um, so I got those and she is so super sweet. So I just expect towels. I wanted towels. Awesome. And when I opened it up, um, there was this DMC in there. So see if you can get a true color of that. Do you see that? It's so pretty. It's like super pretty. Okay, that looks backwards to me, so I'm assuming you are seeing it the way that it should be, but let me know down below. So, this is E135, and it's like, let's see if I can get it. There we go. See all that sparkle? Okay, never worked with this stuff before. Um, is, is this the etoile? No. No, that's cotton with sparkles in it right this says moulin moulin i don't know give me ideas down below what if any of you have used this and what you use it for i'm assuming it's kind of like a chronic um and i think i need to get some thread conditioner so i think i'm going to get a hold of um kelly um and see because she's got some super excuse me, some super yummy scented ones that she keeps bragging about on her channel. And I'm like, totally thinking I need to try those. So Kelly, yeah, I'll link Kelly down below too. Um, Kelly's here in Michigan with me. Um, she's a couple hours South and she's also a Jeep driver. She just got a new Jeep. So you guys keep an eye out for her. I'll link her below. Um, so, um, yeah, his princess Kelly, she's, oh, I just love her. I adore her. So she's, she's got some of these scented, uh, con thread conditioners and she mentioned in her one video about, um, getting some of the shops to carry them. None of the shops are really local to me. I think there's one in Bay City. Um, and last time I was to it years ago, it wasn't, it wasn't a whole lot. So I don't know if it's any better, but, um, anyways, I'm going to have to get a hold of Kelly and find out, um, if you have like a favorite, uh, thread conditioner that you use. I know a lot of people say beeswax. Um, they get it from one, two, three crafts. Um, or one, two, three stitch, sorry. One, two, three stitch.com. Um, I think there's some on the Hade website, Heaven Earth Designs. Um, I think you could pretty much get it anywhere. I'm not sure where Kelly's getting her scented ones though. So Sage Butterfly Designs, thank you. Thank you so very much for my package. Um, I haven't been online a super whole lot. Um, all of you guys from Instagram will know that I haven't posted a whole lot. Um, I just been kind of in the zone and dealing with doctors and health issues and whatever. Today's a better day, so I thought I'd get my video done. My hair's already done. I'm already ready for the day. Then I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to get fancy like Applebee's for everybody. Okay. Now, uh, Cynthia. Cynth I, the next one is Cynthia. Let me just see. Oh, crap. What's her channel name? Oh, Hold on, hold on. I flipped my book. Um, ah! Oh my goodness. Cynthia, I am so sorry, honey. I will link Cynthia down below as well. But Cynthia, see, I'm either good at first names or I'm good at channel names. I guess we can't have it both ways. So Cynthia, I won her little giveaway. And she sent a little note that said, enjoy with the project. You'll be 
using it for. I'm trying to read backwards. So I won a couple of flosses, you guys. These are so soft. So it's um, the Gentle Art Simply Wool Color Fast in Bayberry and Forest Glade. Aren't those pretty? Yeah, that's pretty much true to color. Oh, they're so soft. I've never had any specialty flosses, so this will be fun. So again, Cynthia, I know I've thanked you, um, but I want to thank you again. So I'm super excited to try those. And then I won a giveaway from Lee over at Creative Lee. She's a doll too. I just love all you guys. And she's, <sighs> oh, I didn't even open it till now, you guys. So she put a little note. I just love it. Thanks for supporting. There you go. Thank you for supporting my channel, Lee. You're so welcome, Lee. I just love you. Um, she just got back from her sister's, so we got to meet her sister, and her sister's got this fantastic blanket that she's working on. I can't wait to see it finished. So, Lee had a giveaway, and I won a pattern from, is it Jardin Privé? Maybe? Cat Lovers. So I'm trying to not have it glare at you. Jardin Privé? So... This is going to be like my first, like, sampler. I want to do a long dog. I really do. But I want to do it in some really cool variegated thread. Like, not just all one color, I think. But like a, a nice variegated uh, floss. And I've seen some on Etsy. Not sure which way I want to go with it. And I don't know which chart I want to do yet. I'm trying to make sense of the charts. Like, they're just kind of all over the place. Like, pandemic. Like, it doesn't... I don't... None of it makes sense, but they're really pretty when they're done. That's all I can say. Um, I did see Teresa Little Stitcher. I've been watching her channel, her channel from, like... I went all the way back to the beginning. I've been watching it straight through. Um, so, I've been... After I get all caught up with the daily floss tubes that are put out that day, then I go and I listen to Teresa while um, I'm doing other crafts and stuff. Um, and so she's doing Castles in the Air. And I've looked at that one and she's doing, well, I can't say she is doing because this is like two or three years ago video. So, they're older videos. I haven't got to see, like, the thing if she's done with it yet. Don't ruin it for me. Don't, don't be a spoiler. I'll get to that video. So, I want to do something like that, too. So, this will be a good practice run. So, and I have a cat, and her name's Midnight, and these cats are all dark. And then, just these little Quaker things. They're super cute. So, I'm I'm excited to get some material and, and give this a go. Um... Probably won't be until after the first of the year um, because I need to get, I need to figure out what fabric I want to put it on. So, okay. So Lee, thank you so much again. Um, and I'm going to link everybody and information down below. Um, okay. So uh, shout outs. And then I think, no, I have more, I have more stitching stuff. Before I get off track, my camera shut off last time and I couldn't do my shout outs. It had an abrupt ending and I left it at that because I don't have time to edit and be frustrated and doing all that. So we got an abrupt ending. So my shout outs are Kaylee Tentstitch. So Kaylee, thank you so much. She did a fabulous shout out for me and I really appreciate it. Um, and my numbers went way up. I think a lot of her um, subscribers came over. Um, and so I truly appreciate it. Um, Terry at Terry Lee Crafts. She's a doll too. Um, 
and I, I will link them. I won't go into full detail and spoil it for you if you don't know who they are, but you really need to go check them out. They've got some really cool projects on the go. Um, so Terry from Terry Lee Crafts, um, she also did a shout out for me. So again, thank you, Terry. Um, I think some of your subs came over too. So if you came over from anybody's channel for a shout out, please let me know below so that I can make sure that I reach out and thank everybody properly because that's, I, I like to give thanks for thanks is due and, and credit. So, um, you know, if, if you, if you could let me know, that would be great. Um, I also want to do a shout out for Gammy Stitcher, G-A-M-M-Y Stitcher. Um, her and I are, are friends on Facebook as well. Her first name is Leona. She's so sweet, you guys. She's, she's working on some really cool stuff. Um, she's got a giveaway she wants to do once she hits 100 subscribers. Um, so I'm excited for her for that. So I will link her down below as well, but she's just so sweet. I've just had so much fun interacting and chatting with her and just, just learning more about her and her family. So she's a doll. Um, I also want to give a shout out. I mean, obviously everybody knows Teresa Little Stitcher, but I'm just amazed. I'm amazed at her. Um, and she just blows me away with everything that she works on. Some of the stuff I'm seeing that she started like two and three years ago, I haven't seen any of the finish yet, but I tell you what, some of her work is just mind blowing. Um, Rogue Mama Stitcher, Amber. Oh my goodness. She's so sweet. She's got some cool finishes. So go watch her video. I'll link her below too. She finished, um, Stitchman Darcy's Yippie Kaye, and she um, changed the ending. Uh, her and her hubby did, um, and she stitched. It's fantastic. You gotta go see it. Gotta go see it. Um, what else have I been doing? I shouted out Gammy. Shouted out Amber from Rogue Mama. I've got Creative Lee. I've got Terry Lee. We got Sage Butterfly Designs, his Princess Kelly, I'll link her down below. She's, she's cool. I just love her. I love meeting new people, although we haven't met in person yet, but she resides in my state, so I'm super excited. So I'm finding more and more Michigan stitchers, which is really cool. Um, okay, um, I think that's it for shout outs for now. I don't think I've really watched a whole lot of new new stuff. Been kind of binge watching. Um, let's see. Lunar Witch Stitchery. She's another good one to go watch. She's got some really cool projects on the go. Um, give me a minute. My brain is kind of mush. I had a bunch of tests done yesterday, and so, oh my god, the results of that back, so that's kind of on my head. Um, I mentioned Stitchman Darcy. Uh, Darren. I know I've mentioned Darren before, Dizzy Stitcher. Um, I'm sure everybody knows him. Um, he's really cool too. He put out a bunch of videos to pick um, some of his projects to go into 2023. So that's really cool. He's got some really awesome designs. Like I haven't had a chance to go back yet and watch from beginning to current. However, one of his, his very first floss too popped up as a suggestion the other day and I did watch that. And, um, yeah, so that was super cool. So now I need to, once I get through my other ones, I need to go and watch his all the way through. Um, I think that's, I think that covers that. Okay, someone had a question. I want to say it was Amber, Rogue Mama Stitcher. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. I'm wrong a lot. So Amber had a question about my floss storage. 
So I told her I would, I tried to explain the comments. I'm not very good at doing that. Um, I'm just going to move some stuff. I got a couple of other things I want to show, but it's not really stitch related. Um, okay. So I seen a lot about the Annie's keepers and trying to find something that would work for me and my hands was the biggest thing. So, um, instead of bobbinating, which I've done all my life, we decided with organizing the house, we we're also going to organize my stitching. So talk to Suki, the brown eyed stitcher, love her. And we talked about Annie's keepers. That's her system that she uses. And so that is what I went with. And at the last video, you know, I'm not going to say, you know, why do I just assume that? Like if you're new here, you don't know if you don't watch the last video, you don't know. Right. Okay. So anyhow, what I did is I took all of, I'm trying to find one that's like, I, I don't even know where the one is that's full. Okay. So what I did, I'll just start at the beginning. Screw it. <laughs> just screw it. Just So I went with the slides that could go in a file cabinet, a storage box, whatever. So I could just slide them, right? So I got those. I got all my keeps on here. I labeled and numbered myself. I put stickers up here so that when I'm sitting in my chair and I'm pulling, I don't have to look down here. I can look up here to see where my numbers are at. This one is missing because I have it pulled for a project, which I'll, I'll explain in a minute. So all of my floss is hanging. Look at those colors. Aren't they pretty? Yes. Okay. So all of my floss, kind of a hot mess, hanging from my keepers. Okay. And, and I've done that for all of my colors, just like Suki has. And because I was working on All Hallows Eve, which is a, a, um, a stitch that I'm doing, a pattern, what a, it's a project I'm doing with Steph from Total Stitch Show. <laughs> God. Okay, so because I was working on that, and I think this may have been where I kind of confused some people last time. So last video... Um, I held up, oh, well, I just pulled a thread out from somewhere. All because, like Teresa says, I'm just stroking, I'm stroking my floss. So, <laughs> I pulled a thread out. So, it's a hot mess now. But, I had held up this for, because I was working on All Hallows Eve. And, to show, like, colors in the keeps. So, they're all in a bin and that is my my main floss that's what i use i have any extras bagged up and numbered in bags um the bags are numbered so i can find them if i run low because i was working on all hallows eve i didn't want to keep pulling a slide out pulling a color that I needed and putting the slide back because like all the same colors kept getting called for. So all I did is for that area is see, there's my number two is I pulled the colors that I was using across that row and I put them on a ring and then I added another ring to hang it just because it made it easier. Um, and that way there, these can sit next to me. And when I'm working on that project, I just keep pulling these colors. They're constant repeats across the row and so I didn't have to just keep, I didn't have to go, okay, let's see. I need color, da, da, da. I just dropped it on the floor. Uno momento, por favor. Right next to the dog. And Lord knows she'd roll in them. So I didn't want to pull this, pull a strand, 
put it back in the box and then stitch a couple stitches and then pull another one. So I'm trying to work smarter, not harder. Cause that's what my daddy told me to do all my life. Thanks daddy. Um, so anyhow, that's, that's been kind of my madness and what I've been doing. So those will eventually go back on my slides. Now to hold all of my stuff, I didn't know what I wanted, but I knew that I needed something that was enclosed because I have a dog who slobbers and shakes his head. I have a cat that likes to lay on everything. She doesn't mess with stuff. She just lays on it. And then, um, with me not being a hundred percent steady on my feet, if I was going to take this out to my shed to work, um, or anything else, um, if I were to drop it or fall, I did not want my floss going everywhere. So my solution to that was after looking for hours and hours is this big box. It's got a lock. It's got a zipper top and it's, it's waterproof. It holds all of my floss. It's waterproof. It's fireproof guys. <laughs> Fire breaks out up to a certain degree. My floss is safe. So until I can grab it and get out the door, my floss is good. It's good to go. So that's, that's what I came up with. Um, because I can zip it up each night and when I'm ready to stitch, I just unzip it and flip the lid over. I have access to all of my floss right there at the table. Um, and then when I'm putting everything away for the night, uh, I literally just zip it up. It's safe from all of the animals. It's safe from somebody sitting there if they spill a drink. Um, so in my house, we do waterproof, pet proof, all sorts of stuff. So that's, that is the method to my madness at this point in time. And I have to find out where this floss goes. So I'm going to lay that on top. Okay. Also stitch related. And then I will let you stitchers go. Um, because I do have a diamond painting I finished that if you don't follow me on Instagram, you haven't seen yet. But I stopped at the Dollar Tree while I was in town today because I want to say Creative Vortex. Is it Creative Vortex? No. Is it? I'll have to link her down below too. Dagnabbit. I should have wrote it down. Anyhow, they were talking about these magnets from the Dollar Tree and how they work well for holding floss, right? Um, so it almost sounds like my kids here. Anyhow, real quick to put your floss around for when you're parking and stuff. So I bought the last four packages of those they had. So I have those for needle minders and floss. Um, <laughs> okay, pretty much it for stitching now. Um, at the Dollar Tree, I also got like a bunch of these <laughs> new bone baby dolls. <laughs> yeah, somebody online like ghoulified them up. So one looks like Pennywise, one looks like Michael Myers, one looks like Freddy Krueger, one looks like Pinhead, like a whole bunch of stuff. So... I got a whole bunch of these little babies. We are going to paint them all up and I'm going to have little ghoulie baby, Halloween babies. So I think I bought like 12 of those. So I don't know if the kids and I are going to do that this weekend or not. And then I, I guess I'm going to say trigger alert because not everybody likes clowns and not everybody likes creepy. So if you're just here for the stitching and to see what I picked up at the Dollar Tree, I love you. You're free to go. Have a great day and weekend. It is Friday and um, October 28th, I believe. I always forget to say that too. And that's all I have for stitching. So I may be back for a wrap up 
uh, maybe a couple weeks. I don't know. But I love you. Stay safe. I will see you on the next video. For everyone else that's staying, thank you. Trigger warning, if you still want to stay for what's left, I'm at 40 minutes. I'm going to go fast. But I did a diamond painting of Pennywise from Stephen King's It. I am a lover of Stephen King. It is based a long creepy Halloween. I like cutesy Halloween too, but I also like the creepy side. So, da, 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 da. let's see if I can get. So, yep. So I finished that less than 24 hours. This was an easy one. It's round gems. Um, this was an Amazon, cheapy Amazon find. I think I paid five bucks for it, like beginning of the year. Now, my only issue with that is if you've, I don't know if it's still available at Amazon. I don't, I'm sorry. I didn't look. If you happen to find it, I've not put a review up for it, but be forewarned that the drill field is junk. As in like smudged and blurry kind of. So I used my light pad. I was able to make out what everything was, but it wasn't the best drill field so just be forewarned that on that one wasn't the best uh, drills were all fine I had plenty of every color work out on that so that's my diamond painting I started another one. Ooh, I have one more stitching related thing oh, see see I'm a list person I have to have lists I swear if I didn't have a list I would forget everything I don't know what the dog's looking at maybe the kid is here um So yeah, so, and the reason for the diamond painting, this goes back to stitch related stuff. What is the best lotion to use? Because my hands are drying out. My skin is literally like peeling down to fresh baby pink skin. More so on the hand that stays under my stitching because I stitch two handed. Now I use gold bond healing um, in the morning and after I'm done stitching. And I let it all soak in and then I start stitching. I've heard of Stitcher's Lotion. I don't know how hydrating that is. Um, my gold bond doesn't leave a residue on my project because I make sure it's it's soaked in. It's put on like two or three hours before I start stitching. Um, but do you recommend anything? Is there some other type of lotion that... Because I stitch a lot. So when I sit and I stitch, I stitch for hours because I'm the only one here and I'm bored out of my mind and I have to do something to keep my brain going and my hands busy. So I've noticed that after a good like three weeks of hardcore stitching daily that like my skin is dry and cracked and it's going to get worse this winter. It always does. Um, and this is my first year back to stitching in a really long time. So I'm giving my hands a break, hence the reason I didn't have a whole lot to show you right now. Um, and I'm diamond painting to let my skin heal back up. Usually about a week's worth of diamond painting, my skin's healed back up, we're good to go. And then I can, I can stitch again without them drying out any further until they do. So please, if there is a lotion that is working for you, and your hands aren't like dry and like my thumb is so sore like it's fresh baby pink skin it's horrible um and the skin just keeps peeling off and it's gross and it hurts so if you've got a recommendation of something that works please please leave that below um i finally had my mri done and it is showing worse uh deterioration more pronounced on the right than the left, which is probably the reason I'm having extreme pain on the right. Um, and I can't stand, stand or sit for extended periods of time. I can't walk for a long time without either my walking stick or a rolling walker with a seat on it in case my feet go numb and I have to sit. So I follow up with that doctor. I um, I believe November 7th um, to find out what we can do with arthritis and degenerative disc, degenerative disc disease 
and the fact that I have rheumatoid arthritis um, and osteoarthritis, all of this stuff is stacked against me and therefore I don't know if there's anything that they can do. But I will find out more on November 7th. So for right now I'm just kind of screwed and just kind of taking it easy and whatever. Um, okay. I think that's everything. Oh! Stitch related. Sorry. Rabbit trail. Hubby made me a gigantic five foot long PVC frame. I got my clips in from Amazon the other day. So now it's to pick a project that I can put on that and work all the way across. Like I see so many of you doing and I desperately and jealous and want to do. So now I have that. So once I get something on there and get going, then um, I will show you because I won't have to take it off the frame. I'm almost thinking I want uh, Super Size Max Color Waterhole Master on there, but then I'm also leaning towards um, either a stitching shelf, Super Size Max Color, or Super Size Max Color Toy Shop. I'm not sure yet. Or maybe I'll interchange them in and out. Or maybe Hubby will make me a couple more frames for Christmas. Who knows, right? So, okay, that's it. I'm rambling. I don't know what else. I'm sure I'll remember something that I forgot. I will link everybody down below um, that I talked about. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, thank you for constant love and support and being the community that I need this year because mental health wise it's not been an easy year and you guys are helping that's all I can say I enjoy chatting with you I enjoy getting to know everybody through the comments and Instagram and Facebook and I go silent and dark at times but I'm still here watching everybody and, and rooting and liking and loving everything I just don't always post my stuff so I appreciate you all. I love you all. Thank you again for being here. I hope you all stay safe and well. I hope you have a great festive weekend if you celebrate Halloween or do pumpkin patches or anything. I hope that you get to enjoy everything and I hope that you have a great Halloween on Monday and if you're taking the little ones out trick-or-treating, I hope it goes well. I hope the weather's good. I'm going to go hand out candy with one of my, my best friends um, to her little trick-or-treaters because we don't get any. So, all right. My my other dog was sleeping in the other room, so I'm going to open these, <laughs> these bifold doors. I will chat with you guys later. Bye.